This is Flying by Mavic. Thank you very much as always for joining me. Uh, the beeping noise on the Mavic controller on return to home bugs the shit out of me. And I saw something where you're supposed to put a screw in the back of it. A bit destructive. Um, but then I found this. Silencio RC version 0.9.3. I've had a quick read through and people have said yes it does work. So I thought I'll do a video on it. So if you want to know how to make your Mavic controller stop beeping, watch this video. Right, so Silencio RC, uh, I've just tried to install it and it told me it needs to download and install a newer version of Net Framework, so it might be best just to check. Software program does say to you, uh, you need this version, so at least that's one plus thing. It's going to install Net Framework, so give me one moment and I shall be back. Okay, so I had a few problems installing um, Silencio, uh, not Silencio, uh, Net Framework 4.72 on my laptop. Uh, because the build version is 10586 for some reason doesn't like uh, net framework 4.72 got some box popping up luckily I do have a server upstairs I'll be able to use that now as you can see Silencio is running you're also going to need this program the dank downloader or the dank drone downloader I should say um, it's a tool for downloading all the various firmwares and you're going to need this because you're going to need the firmware for the Mavic Pro controller click on there and it says A3 flight controller scroll down until you find Mavic Pro, click on that. Highlight the bottom one, or whatever version you happen to have on yours. Make sure you check RC only, and then click download. Once it's done, it'll ask you where you want to save it. I'm going to just stick it on my desktop for now. And then that's all you need from that. As you can see, it's now appeared in the desktop there for you. Okay, it says first connect the remote controller to your PC, only then turn it on. Wait at least 10 seconds and press the button below. Okay, so I now need to connect my controller to the PC, which is upstairs, so bear with me just one second. I've plugged it in and uh, it says now wait 10 seconds and press the button. Press the button, serial port not found. And I know why that is, that is because I have not installed the drivers for the Mavic uh, remote on this PC. So let me just scroll down for a second and I'm going to run device manager which is up there. I'm then going to find the device, CDC serial, I'm going to update the driver software. So as you can see now it's installed the DJI USB Virtual Com on COM4, so let's just put that out of the way. And we'll try that again, click on connect to device, and there you go. So now it's found device detected, um, version 0104300, serial number. So now I just need to open the firmware, which is also on my desktop. And that is there, like so. Uh, silence all sound shareware and flash now you can uh, it says there 499 PayPal so you can actually go to PayPal login I'm actually gonna buy it I, I will buy it uh, for 499 if it works it's fine if not then I'm sure I can contact the uh, manufacturer Having paid for the whole thing, uh, you can now see the PayPal link's gone, and instead of this is the shareware, it basically says silence all sounds. So I'm going to tap on that, I'm going to keep your fingers crossed, and we're going to click on flash. So there you go, it says job's done. So now let's have a look and see if the remote makes any noise. So here's the remote, nicely flashed up already. I'm going to turn it on. Silent. Oh, that's lovely. No more annoying beep beep when it's flying home. No more annoying on and off sounds. Fantastic. We'll look forward to testing this out in the field. So what we'll do now is we'll go back to the screen record and we'll just do a quick run through of uh, how we got it all sorted. 
So Silencio, uh, download it, you have to install Net Framework 4.7. Pay for it if you want to pay for it, if not you get some weird oobly tone type things. Um, you'll need to connect to your PC, download the firmware with dank uh, drone downloader program and then simply just hit the flash button. And that's it, job done. Ah, now hang on. You can also restore original firmware. This will restore the remote controller by installing a non-patch version. Well, he's got it to be quiet, so I'm pretty sure that flashing it back will just put the noise back. I'm not going to test that. If you want to test that, that's entirely up to you. But for me, I'm happy with the silent uh, remote control for the Mavic. There you go, simple. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and no doubt I'll see you again real soon.